Hello, my name is Caden Stevens, Technical Marketing Engineer at Cisco's Enterprise Switching Business Unit. Today, I'm going to talk about Cisco's Extended Fast Software Upgrade Feature, or XFSU, for the Catalyst 9300 series switches. I will go over the key details about XFSU and give a brief demonstration of how it works. XFSU is a Cisco Catalyst 9300 series switch feature that drastically reduces the traffic downtime during a switch reload or software upgrade. This feature helps minimize network downtime at the access layer to less than 30 seconds. XFSU also works in stacked and standalone environments, maintains layer two and layer three configurations within your network topology during a reload or upgrade, and maintains power over ethernet status as well. All incredibly attractive benefits for a customer who wants to update their network without the huge downtime that normally comes with it. For information on upgrading or downgrading between extended and short maintenance release types, please refer to the XFSU technical note. You can find a link for this in the description of this video. XFSU works by keeping UADP ASICs and essentially the data plane functioning continuously while the CPU reloads the software. For standalone systems, Graceful Restart comes into play and allows the data packets to continue forwarding while the routing protocol information is being restored, following a device reload or during an upgrade. Before the shutdown of the iOS, the switch platform code notifies the routing protocols to start a Graceful Restart. Graceful Restart is available today for OSPF, ISIS, and BGP. The routing protocols communicate to the peer on the Graceful Restart and when the control plane boots up again, the routing sessions are restored before the data plane update happens. After the routing protocol learns routes from the peers, it sends down the convergence signal to the platform code. The ASIC information is placed in a special memory block and the platform code updates the data plane by flushing the cache updates to the data plane. With XFSU in a stacked environment, the process is as follows. First, the system installs the images on all the switches. Next, a fast reload takes place on the standby and member switches. After that, a fast reload takes place on the active switch only. The standby then becomes the new active. Then lastly, the old active switch becomes the new standby. This whole process again results in less than 30 seconds of traffic downtime. Let's walk through our demo topology for our upcoming demo. First, we have our user that is video streaming. This user is connected via a PoE Ethernet cable to our stack. The stack is connected to a 9400 SVL pair. This pair is connected to a 9300 core switch that goes out to the internet. And lastly, we have placed spirit generators generating bi-directional traffic. Let's get into our demo. First, we can see that our laptop is charging via power over Ethernet. We can further verify this by heading over to the stack CLI and typing in a show power inline followed by the port we're connected to followed by detail and we'll see various different wattage consumption stats. Let's watch a video. Fun so far? How many of you were here over the weekend doing fun things? Yeah? This is absolutely Quite frightening with all the smoke up here, actually. <laughs> we'll head into our spirit generator software and start traffic on all ports, so that way we can inspect our sub 30 second downtime afterwards. Going back to the stack CLI, let's verify our version with a show version command. And as we can see here, we're running iOS XE 17.3.2. We'll briefly inspect our graceful reload and see that's not running. And then we'll start an XFSU process by doing an install add file, followed by the file location, and then followed by an activate reload fast commit. Our stack goes through some pre-checks here, making sure we meet the prerequisites for XFSU. After we've cleared this, our file syncing process will start, making sure all switches in the stack have a copy of our image.
an image add will take place on all the members of the stack. And next, we'll be notified and receive a prompt letting us know that this process requires a fast reload of the system. We'll proceed by saying yes and initiating an activate on all the members. The activate process is finished now and we're moving on to the commit. And now our active switch will go through its own upgrade process. Stage one of two will commence after all the switches are ready to be reloaded. A fast reloading of the standby members takes place. All right, stage two of two will fast reload our active switch in the system, but keep in mind during this process, our traffic is only impacted for less than 30 seconds. And we see our reload fast has been detected and commencing. All right, now we have access back into our stack and we'll head over to stop the traffic on all the ports in our experience generator software. Let me just get logged in here. Stop the traffic. Wow. And as you can see here, our traffic in this demonstration was only affected for less than three seconds. Lastly, let's go make sure our stack was upgraded. All right, do another show version command. And there we have it iOS XC 17.6.1 on all the members of our stack. Let us look at the comparison between normal and XFSU upgrades or reloads. Here, we are reinforcing that normal upgrades without XFSU will take longer to converge, which affects your endpoint devices longer. XFSU converges fast and provides a more seamless upgrade or reload process. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and provide feedback. Take care.